James Kaufman, World News Report today, August 27, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. This European satellite will fall from space soon, but where? On September 8, 2024, a satellite named Salsa will re-enter the atmosphere and hopefully burn up. What makes this re-entry different is that its operators have carefully guided it down from 81,250 miles or 130,000 kilometers to burn up safely over a hand-picked region of the South Pacific, if all goes to plan. I've never heard of a satellite that orbited at 81,000 250 miles above Earth. The space station is said to orbit between 200 and 220 miles above Earth. SALSA will be the second satellite to meet its end in a planned and maneuvered guided re-entry following the re-entry of the EESA's alias weather satellite last year. Such re-entries could help satellite operators prevent debris from either floating in orbit or falling to Earth over unexpected and potentially populated areas. SALSA is one member of a four-piece group called Cluster. SALSA's three companions are also named for dances, Rumba, Tango, and Samba. Since 2000, the four identical satellites have been monitoring Earth's magnetic field. When Cluster first launched, its mission was intended to last just two years. Instead, its satellites are still intact and still sending back valuable scientific data nearly a quarter of a century later. Alas, Cluster's days are very numbered. Had the EESA retired Cluster in 2002, as scheduled, the four satellites might have been left to drift on their own. But the specter of rapidly accumulating space debris means that the EESA wants to take a more careful approach with its old spacecraft. Quote, by studying how Sasa burns up, which parts might survive, for how long and in what state, we will learn much about how to build zero debris satellites said Tom Floher, head of the EESA's Space Debris Office. The real question is, why a satellite that is at an altitude of 81,250 miles above Earth would ever fall to Earth? This is far from a low Earth orbit satellite. Now, this is not part of the article. I'm questioning what's going on here. This satellite was orbiting almost halfway to our moon, according to the current scientific understanding of the distance to our moon, which varies between 220,000 and 250,000 miles. If this is true, as the EESA says, how does our ISS stay in orbit at only 200 to 220 miles above our planet and has been orbiting there for 26 years? It seems Everyone needs to question everything any government or government agency tells them. God bless you and yours. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Please share, subscribe, and always remember, anything's possible in Bizarro World.